everybody else, everybody is here. Except for one daft Aegis. How the heck did you get over there? You must have jumped the blooming fence. Oh, you're so annoying. You are so annoying. You jumped the fence, huh? I've got to see, with you on the other side, how you got in. If you walk down the fence with me, I'll find out. We have new fence posts up. And, uh, the fence is fine. Look at all the daffodils. Come on, girl. Where did she get in? They're all following me. It's not like there's no grass over here. So did you squeeze between the fence bars? Come on. You're a right pain in the arse, you are. A little bit. Here's the lamb. There's a the lamb going like, where'd you go, where'd you go? I just saw you, I just smelled you. You're gone, you're gone. Where'd you go? Yeah, Ebony, you're the good one this week. You're not doing anything bold. You are the boldest of yo's, and your daughter's probably been missing you. Yes, you're very taut. You better let your daughter suckle. Yeah, I know, the food's up there. Bold yo. So, everyone's there, including bold, bold little bit. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her because if she doesn't let her lamb suckle, she might get mastitis. Inka and Maya are having a lovely little treat because I'm milking out a little bit. She wasn't letting her lamb suckle. And there's a very, very slight pink flush to this particular udder. 
but it's fine. It's clean. The milk coming out is beautiful and clean. And this one is as well. So it's just a precaution because I don't know how long she was separated from her lamb. Um, this way I'll make sure that she doesn't See, that is my concern, is right there. This one's fine. But this one has a bit of a hard edge to it. So, this is what bold girls get done to them. Embarrassing. Look at her eyes. She's going to sleep as I'm holding her. It's just not moving. And the dogs are having a lovely milky treat. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna... Those are much softer. She'll probably let her lamb suckle now. <laughs> Spraying her with milk. Anyway. Okay. There you go. There. You can get up now. Yeah. Now maybe you'll let your lamb suckle. Yeah. Yay. Problem solved. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay. Problem solved. Milking her out a bit solved the problem. And she's now allowing the lamb to suckle. And that means, hopefully, she won't get mastitis. Oh, my goodness. You never know what's going to happen in the morning, do you, Ebony? No. You good girl. And it's supposed to be a Sunday morning. The lamb that you see right there, kneeling down, I treated while I was waiting to see if... Um, little bit would feed her lamb. So he's been treated with scald. And uh, he was like, ouch, 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 when I was doing it. But hopefully he'll be better now. Or in a little while. Hopefully. You won't escape into the daffodil field again. Without your lamb. At least yesterday you had your lamb to suckle. Bold, bold you.